y'all welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for stopping by if you are new welcome my name is Shantanique and this is my YouTube channel before we get started with today's video make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so you never miss an upload I upload videos three times a week on Tuesdays Fridays and Sundays at 4 while you're at it make sure you follow me on Instagram so today is going to be a different type of video we're actually about to do a pretty cool DIY project obviously as you can tell from the title um, essentially we got this grandfather clock from my parents they've had it for at least 20 years like they've had it for as long as I can remember when they moved they didn't want it anymore I didn't necessarily love the clock, but Darian really, really liked it, um, obviously because it has a traditional vibe and it's just a, a cool focal piece. So I was okay with us getting it and bringing it to our house. However, it is a very traditional clock. It is um, that traditional wood color. And you guys know, if you follow my channel, I am more modern blacks, woods, grays, whites. So what we're going to do is see if we can paint the clock. I've watched a couple of YouTube videos. He's talked to a couple of painters, um, specifically his uncle, and we've kind of gotten an idea of how we can get the look that we want and how we can do it ourselves. Obviously, if this is a total fail, we'll just pay someone to fix it and, you know, make the clock how we want it. But I figured we might as well try. So that is what we're going to do today. Right now, we're about to move the clock from the foyer um, into the garage because we're going to use that area to paint it, essentially, because it's outside. Um, and then if it rains, because the weather has been kind of crazy, we'll be able to keep the clock in the garage and just leave our cars outside overnight. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is definitely going to be trial and error. Hopefully we absolutely love the final project, but yeah, stay tuned. So we just spent the last hour or so with taping the freaking clock down um, because there's a lot of glass on the clock and we don't want to get paint on the glass because it's a pain to clean up. So we are about to start the process. We are going to be using the Kiehl's Original Low Odor Interior Primer. This is like a spray primer that we're going to use. And then y'all know everything that I spray paint, I use rust -Oleum. This is semi-gloss and it's black. Um, I have two cans of this, but we're probably going to need a third can, just depending on how that goes. So what we're going to do, spray a first layer of primer on it, let it dry, and then spray a first layer of black paint on it and let it dry. So let's go ahead and get started. Look who's over. Hello. <laughs> making progress we only have two cans of this paint and we need probably what you say about two more maybe two or three more cans of paint we just did the first layer though and it looks pretty good so yeah that's what we're doing All 
right, y'all. So we are finally. Finally. We're finally done with this clock, y'all. It looks so freaking good. I can't believe that we did this. Like I really can't. How you how you feel? What you think? Uh, these are the two glasses that we're gonna put in. Babe, go ahead and take that top off so we don't crack it. You heard me? Yeah. Go ahead so we don't forget about it. Oh, my camera's not focusing. Thank you. So yeah, we're about to move this thing in the house. And I'm so proud of how it turned out. Like we saved hundreds of dollars doing this ourselves. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Now buy me a new bag. <laughs> Thank you. 